Hi folks, are you having trouble connecting time traffic lights in the Traffic Manager Presence Edition mod? Or maybe you haven't tried yet because you just don't know where to begin. In either case, this video may be just what you're looking for. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a step-by-step -step process on how to connect time traffic lights over multiple intersections. Now if you don't already have a basic understanding of how to use time traffic lights function in the Traffic Manager Presence Edition mod, I highly recommend you watch one of my previous videos titled How to Use Time Traffic Lights 7 Easy Steps. The link for that video should be appearing right about now in the top right hand corner of this video. That video will bring you up to speed on the basic principles on how to use time traffic lights. Nonetheless, I will try to make this video stand on its own in terms of process because the process is fairly complicated. Now I will warn you in advance that this video is basically a deep dive into time traffic lights. So this type of advanced tutorial may not be for everybody. But if you're up for it, we're going to get right into the nuts and bolts of this mod. So now it's time to ease your pain by showing you a step-by-step -step methodology on how to connect time traffic lights. Let's get started. Smash that subscribe button below right now and click on the bell so you don't miss out on more great content. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Or just give it a thumbs up for yourself so that you'll always be able to come back and watch it again if you need to. First of all, we need to select a group of intersections that have the potential to be improved by A, having time traffic lights, and B, having those time traffic lights connected or synchronized, to use another term. As I mentioned in my previous tutorial, not all traffic problems can be solved by using time traffic lights. However, time traffic lights can be useful in resolving long queue lengths, turning movement conflicts, pedestrian conflicts, or any combination of these problems. So why even bother trying to connect time traffic lights? The reason is to solve a specific traffic congestion problem. So what we are looking for is a group of signalized or unsignalized intersections where collectively we have a traffic snarl up that can be resolved or at least improved by connecting or synchronizing time traffic lights. A collection of intersections where the traffic backs up and never really clears would likely be an ideal candidate for connecting time traffic lights. But it could also be a group of intersections where traffic flow can simply be improved by connecting the lights. In terms of finding that right group of intersections, you'll find it simply through observation. If you're not sure where to look, you can go to Info Views and click on the Traffic Info View panel. This Info View shows you average traffic flow percent across your city. Of course, the problem areas show up in various shades of red. This will give you some idea as to where to look for a group of intersections that may, and I emphasize may, be improved by connecting time traffic lights. In my case, I have chosen these three intersections, 1, 2, and 3, on Charles Boulevard in my city of Spring Valley. The problem at these intersections is that in general we have some traffic congestion, both leading up to the intersections and in between. It's not necessarily that severe, but it's likely something that could be improved by A, having time traffic lights, and B, connecting those time traffic lights or synchronizing them. Now that we have found the group of intersections and identified the problems, we can then start working on solutions. Our next step is to provide proper laning arrangements. Now you won't find this step in the Traffic Manager President's Edition manual. As I mentioned in my previous video, this makes the most logical sense to me, and that's why I've incorporated it into my approach. We can create more space by adding lane to the legs of our intersections and by separating the different moves. At the intersections in question, we are going to upgrade the four lane roads to five lanes with a dedicated left turn lane on all approaches. To do that, we use the upgrade road tool. So we go to roads, we click on the exclamation mark, the upgrade road tool, and we select the road that we want. In my case, I want the four lane road with turning lane. So we left click on that, and then I simply put my cursor over the roads and click on the roads in question.
And in all cases, I'll go back to at least the next intersection beyond the ones in question. If you watch my previous video, I did the same type of upgrade. I personally love the three lane and five lane roads with the built in left turn lanes. To me, they have a high utilitarian value. But it's up to you. You can pick whatever road type you prefer. Anyway, we've now provided improved laning arrangements at all the intersections. The next step in the process is to assign lane roles. So one of the problems in city skylines is that the vehicles appear to move through an intersection in a helter-skelter manner. Now I'm sure they are being driven by the AI in the game, but nonetheless we can get the vehicles to behave themselves by making their movements in the proper lanes. And ultimately, get the vehicles to move in a more realistic fashion. To accomplish this, we are going to use the Lane Connector tool. In my mind, the Lane Connector tool is superior to the Lane Arrows tool in the Traffic Manager President Edition mod. The Lane Connector tool forces vehicles to use the lanes you have assigned to them and will automatically change the lane arrows anyway. So let's do that now on all the intersections. So now we've assigned lane roles at each of the three intersections. So now the vehicles will use proper lanes when making their movements and that will help reduce congestion. So the next thing we're going to do is set up a time traffic light at one intersection. And we do that by clicking on the Traffic Manager Presence Edition mod and going to Time Traffic Lights. And we select that intersection. And we add a step. Now the first thing I'm going to do is hit the change mode button three times on all three legs so I get three sets of signals pop up. And that way we have signal to control all the movements. I'm going to put each of the pedestrian signals on manual and red because we'll set up a separate cycle for just pedestrians only. And that way the pedestrians won't be in conflict with the vehicles. So our first state or phase will be left turns on Charles Boulevard. The left turn would be green and green and essentially those are advanced greens and we'll give that three to six seconds and we add that step. And we add another step. In this case, the advanced greens go red, and now we have the through and right turn movements go green. And since we have a lot of congestion on Charles Boulevard, I'm going to increase the min and max times. I'm going to increase it from a minimum of 9 to a maximum of 25. That may be overdoing it, but let's give it lots of time for those vehicles to clear. And we add that step. And we had our next step. They go red. They go red. And then we do our advanced greens on the opposite legs. Uh, here we only need three to six seconds, so we'll do that. And we add that step. And then we add another step. In that case, this goes red, and the through and right go green and same on the other side. 
And we add that step. And last but not least, we add a step where it's just for the pedestrians. So the pedestrian signal heads all go green. And the vehicle signal heads are all red. In three to six seconds should be enough, and we add that step. So just to review, our first step is our advanced greens. And actually, I go to edit mode. Our first step is advanced greens for three to six seconds. Our second is the through and right turn movements on Charles Boulevard for nine to 25 seconds. Save that. Our third movement is the left turns on the opposite legs. Save that. Our next is the through and right turn movements on the opposite legs. And last but not least is where our pedestrians walk. And I'll hit start. And show counters. So what we'll do is we'll let the game run for a little while. We want to make sure that this light cycle pattern we've set up is what we want and has a desired effect. And we want to make sure we have what we want before we start copying and pasting onto other intersections. It just saves a lot of work if we do it this way. So I'll let the game run for a little while and we'll come back and see how our intersection is doing. Well, I think things are running about as smoothly as we can get them. I probably could extend the green time on Charles Boulevard a little bit more, but I don't want to make it too much. Otherwise, the vehicles will start stacking up a lot more on the uh, opposing legs. So now that we have the desired light cycle pattern that we want, now we can copy and paste onto the other two intersections. So the next step is to take the desired light cycle pattern we set up on the first intersection and add it to the other two. So to do that, we first hit stop. Now there's two ways to do this. One is to add a junction to this traffic light, and the other is to essentially copy and paste. Now I highly recommend you use the copy and paste feature. I've used the added junction to this traffic light. It's a lot of work, it's tedious, so I just, I don't even want to go there. I, my recommendation is just copy and paste. That first you set up the desired light cycle pattern that you want, and then we're going to copy that identical one onto the other two intersections. So let's do that now. So we hit copy. We go over to our second intersection. And now our desired light cycle pattern is copied onto this intersection. Now we hit copy again. And we go over to the third intersection. And we left click with our mouse. And again, now we have the identical light cycle pattern copied onto this intersection. And then we hit start. Start. And start. We can show counters if we want. There we go. So now we have the identical light cycle pattern on all three intersections. So as we did with the first intersection, once we added the time traffic lights, let's let the game run for a while, and then we'll come back and see how our connected time traffic lights, or to use another word, synchronized time traffic lights, are performing. So let's take a look at how our intersections are performing. Now if we wanted to at this point, we could go back and make some revisions to the light cycle patterns we've set up. Just remember, you would have to individually revise a state or phase on each of the intersections at this point, now that the time traffic lights have already been copy and pasted. Overall, I think things are operating quite well. I don't want to add more green time to the phases on Charles Boulevard because otherwise traffic may start backing up on the other intersecting legs. So I think we've done about as much as we can do in terms of connecting or synchronizing our three sets of signals 
to minimize traffic congestion on Charles Boulevard. In conclusion, I have just shown you a step-by-step -step process on how to connect time traffic lights over multiple intersections, with the benefit being improved traffic flow over those intersections. But I certainly appreciate that this was not an easy subject. With that in mind, if you have any questions, please note them below and I would be happy to answer them to the best of my ability. If you have any other City Skylines topics you would like to see a tutorial on, please note that in the comments below too, because I'm always looking for video ideas. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you haven't done so already, smash that subscribe button below right now and click on the bell so you don't miss out on more great content. Click on that box in the bottom left hand corner right now to see a video you're almost guaranteed to love. This video was selected just for you by YouTube. And they know what you like. So what are you waiting for? Click on that box now, sit back, relax, and enjoy another video.